Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible question. Please keep your questions Bible-related because this is a Bible-centered, Bible-focused ministry. I'll give you my email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send your questions. We have a question today from a listener. A man who writes, good morning, Michael. What is the difference between praying in the spirit and praying in tongues? Well, the answer to that question is there isn't always a difference. Sometimes they're the same. Sometimes they're one in the same. I mean, clearly that was the case in the book of 1 Corinthians, where we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 15, and this is, keep in mind, 1 Corinthians 14, the context of this chapter is the subject of speaking in tongues. And the Apostle Paul is writing to correct some of the abuses in the Corinthian church when it came to the matter of speaking in tongues. But clearly, he refers to speaking in tongues or praying in tongues as praying in the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 14, 15 says, So what shall I do? I will pray with my spirit but I will also pray with my mind. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my mind. So sometimes, at least back in the first century, praying in the spirit, if you had the legitimate gift of tongues, praying in the spirit did sometimes mean praying in tongues as the Holy Spirit gave you the words to say. But it isn't restricted to that definition either because we read in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints so there we read that we are to pray with all types of supplications we are to pray with all types of prayers and all types of supplications, meaning prayer requests. And you have to know what you are saying to pray for particular prayer requests. So in that case, praying in the Spirit is praying also with understanding, knowing what you are saying. That's why I say it's not, they're not mutually exclusive, where it's either one or the other. Oftentimes, at least it was back in the early days of the church, either or, not one or the other. So praying in the Spirit, back in the early church at least, meant praying in tongues as the Holy Spirit gave you the words to say. But praying in the Spirit also refers to how we are praying, not necessarily what we are praying. It doesn't necessarily refer to the type of words that we are using, such as speaking in tongues, it means that we are praying for what the Holy Spirit wants us to pray for. It means being led by the Holy Spirit in our prayers. And now if you walk with Jesus, if you have a close walk with him, the Bible says that the steps of a righteous person are ordained by God. And we are to allow the Holy Spirit to control our thoughts, our words, and our actions. We are to, we are to surrender our body, according to Romans chapter 12, verse 1, as a living sacrifice wholly acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service as Christians. So allow the Holy Spirit to control your thoughts, your words, your actions, your mind, your emotion, your will, your attitude. And if you are walking with the Lord, walking in the Spirit, in obedience to God, without any unconfessed sins in your life, fellowshipping with Him, then you will pray for the things that the Holy Spirit wants you to pray for which is why Jesus said, ask whatever you want, and you can get it, and you'll get it, because you're praying in the Spirit. You're praying in line with what the Holy Spirit wants you to pray. Now, there are a lot of abuses, and you've heard me talk about the abuses in modern-day Pentecostalism, because it really is, as one person said, it has become a system without boundaries, where very little, if anything, that is said is measured by the Word of God. Somebody says they had a vision, they had a dream, they had a, you know, a word from God. You just accept it or else you're called a heresy hunter. 
And that's not good. So I think there's a lot of phoniness in modern Pentecostalism, including in praying in tongues. But you got my answer. I hope that helps. If you want to send me a question, send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.